Hey everybody, so today, welcome back, and today I will be showing you how to play the game Rock, Paper, Scissors. Now you got, and now I, in my last video, I told you guys I'd do it in my next video, and I did. So this is a real game, it's called Rock, Paper, Scissors. You can get it at like any game store and stuff. Look, Rock, Paper, Scissors, the card game, so I'm going to teach you how to do it. So you need all the cards. out of this box. Just out of Only seven, so. Oh, oh, that's a lot of cards. That's just a lot of cards. So, apparently, I've, um, actually, what is this? Oh, this is so cool, wait. Is this? No. Is this a prank? No. What the heck? It doesn't say how to play it. I swear. I swear to Lord. It doesn't say how to play it. say how to play it. I'm scared. Like, if it's a trick or something. Oh, what the heck are these for? I don't know. They're just in the box. I'm just scared. These are all papers. I'm seriously scared. And these are all papers. So, apparently, let's just read the directions and see what it says. So, here is apparently the directions. The game. Here's the Spanish version. Roblatiers, tierras, cord, el paper, papel, papel, cord, la raco. Okay, that's in Spanish. Now, here's the real version of English. Rock, paper, scissors. So it says, 54 playing cards. As many cards as possible. Objects. Collect as many cards as possible. Looking at their cards, each player selects one card, laying the rules of rock, crushes, scissors, scissors, cuts, paper, paper covered rock. The player with the stronger card takes both cards and places them face down in front of him or her. Players draw one card from the draw, from the draw deck after each turn. Dealer draws first. Play continues in this manner until there are no cards left in the draw deck. Player continues playing with the cards in their in their hands until they are gone. Tiebreaker. If both players lay down the same card, each player lays down another card from their hand until card beats another. Remember, players draw one card from the draw deck after each card play. That player then collects all cards played during that, that turn. If players run out of cards during the tiebreaker, each player selects a card from their pile and continues play until the tie is broken. If there are no cards available to, uh, available to, to a player from, from the draw deck, hands of acronymic cards, the other player is the winner, winning the game. When players run out of cards in their hands in the draw deck, is gone. The game is over. The player who has collected the most cards wins. The event is a the in the event of a tie, each player selects one card to play from their pile. The player with the stronger card then then wins the game. So I read all that out loud, and now, so apparently it means I have to. Get all these papers. Get all these. And just put them in a pile and shuffle. There's like a bunch of scissors and papers, but like zero rocks, so. I'm scared. Or 
you seriously, all papers? Now, this is a joke. This is a joke. Okay, so apparently, I have to shuffle them. Get my two things, and I can't do these, so. Okay, so I'm going to pick the first card. And I'm just playing by myself, because no one's here with me besides my dad, my grandma, and my baby brother. So, yeah. I got... And it says you can't play yourself. So it says paper and paper. So I have to go again. Rock and rock. Go again. Rock and rock. Go again. Scissors and paper. Scissors, the person who played... The person who put down the scissors gets to keep all those cards. Wow, so. Paper and rock. Paper covers rock, so paper gets one rock. So pretend there was a person here. And I. So pretend. Ready? Bob. Kristen. No. Bob. Gabby. So Gabby has all these cards, and Bob only has two. So let's see who's gonna win. Paper and paper. Oh my God, he even got a paper. Paper and paper. Rock and paper. Bob, Bob. Bob put down paper, and Chris and Gabby put down rock. So, Bob gets all those cards. Yay, Bob! Go, Bob! So, you want to see the game actually going on down here?